Alright guys, hello and welcome back to yet another video man. I'm happy to be back and I'm happy to be making this video because uh, I'm actually helping you guys out. Alright, so my man Danny actually commented down below that um, what kind of FPS I get while I'm playing the game and in the menu and overall just in the game of Modern Warfare multiplayer. I did a quick scoping video and if you guys haven't checked that out I highly recommend that you go ahead and check that out I think you will be really impressed about that but anyways my man actually commented on that video um, what settings I use and everything because I told him I get around like 65 to 70 FPS and um, so yeah Danny this video is for you man so I'm gonna just gonna go over the settings that I use in the game overall um, but if you guys are new to the channel I really highly recommend that you go ahead and subscribe down below for more awesome videos and tips like this I kinda do like a mix of tips and tricks videos as well as gameplay videos as well as basically just everything that I enjoy uh, making videos and helping you guys out but anyway so Let's go over the settings that I actually use. I did tweak these settings to get the best performance while recording as well as streaming. Uh, so these are the settings I am using. Right, so guys, over on the quality tab, um, field of view, I usually played 120. I don't know about you guys, but I think 120 makes the game look better. You get faster gameplay. And overall, the game just is a lot better on 120. Most people leave it on 90, that's a default setting, I don't know, I don't really play on that anymore, I did while like beginning of the game, but now I know I discovered 120 field of view guys and I think it's a really really big game changer. And then we go to camera movement, I just leave that on default 100%. Right, so going over to streaming quality guys, so uh, leave that on low. I don't think it really makes a big difference in your multiplayer gameplay but I know it makes a big difference in your uh, warzone I don't know why at all you would want to be tweaking this um, uh, because it's useless in my opinion but I, I leave that on low going over to texture resolution I leave that on normal um, I don't know for the specs I have, everything will be linked in the description down below what I have and uh, what kind of mouse keyboard I'm rocking and the specs I have in my PC. Um, I leave that on normal while tweaking your setting from your render resolution to 100 and you leave this on normal. The game looks fairly decent I'd say um, and I don't know man, I don't really see a big change from going from high to normal. Um, so I'll leave that on normal for and going on to texture filter and astrophic I usually leave that on normal uh, My particle quality you can go ahead and basically put that on high. It doesn't really make a difference at all All right, so bullet impact. I leave that on enabled. It really doesn't make that big of difference at all I don't think but um, if you guys if you toggle this you can see here down by the VRAM usage it doesn't really do anything at all so I basically leave that enabled uh, tessellation I put that on near uh, dismemberment and gore effects I basically leave that enabled on demand texture streaming I disable that right so from strength um, I don't really use that at all I don't know some people do but I think I'll leave that on zero my film grain, it, I think this makes the game look a little bit cleaner. Um, so I leave that on zero. Going over to anti analyzing, uh, I leave that on SMAA one time. Uh, I think that's the best for me, I'd say. Um, depth of field, I'd say disable that because uh, it kind of gives a blur while you're aiming and a little bit more zooming in and I'd say that's not something I like playing with so I disable that alright guys so moving on to world motion blur um, I disable that it makes the game look a little bit cleaner some people actually get like really nauseous using this in the game um, and they I don't know I, I just leave it off because I have been playing with world motion blur on 
for a while in my videos well, like a while back and people started commenting down of my videos that you have uh, world motion blur on you just disable it and everything like that so I just disabled it it makes the game look a little bit better and you can spot enemies a lot faster as well so that also improves your gameplay and then weapon motion blur I'd said I leave that enabled because um, moving around and just having that on your weapon I'd say makes the game look a little bit better and overall I don't know just makes the game look a little bit better for me I don't know what you guys think um, I will be playing some one or two games at the end of the video so you guys can go ahead and see uh, how that looks but anyways uh, my shadow map resolution now guys this is really really important I leave that on normal because if you go in and tweak that up you will see that basically pushes your VRAM usage up by like sky high so go ahead and put that on normal and then going over to cache sport shadows I basically just leave that enabled um, cache sun shadows I leave that enabled um, that's basically by default particle lighting this actually doesn't really make too big of a difference i leave that on high just to feel better but you guys can go ahead and put that on ultra um doesn't really make a difference at all and then going over to direct x ray tracing i leave that disabled if you guys can go ahead and toggle that you will see that makes a huge difference for your vram usage um i'd say just basically go ahead and disable that if you don't have a RTX graphics card go ahead and disable that because um, that you can go ahead and enable that if you have an RTX card because those cards are basically built for that ray tracing and everything so yeah man um, leave that disabled and then ambient occlusion I uh, disable that and then screen space reflection SSR I disable that as well so yeah guys that's basically the settings that I use in Modern Warfare multiplayer um, and I think those basically work the best for me I'd say and if you guys have any questions about those settings let me know down in the comment section below well, I will happily respond to those um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play a few games maybe one or two to show you guys how the gameplay overall looks and uh, yeah feels a lot better than I like default settings right guys so I'll go ahead and do a quick play I usually do a team deathmatch and stuff like that so let's go ahead and uh, just jump into a game right so I've been playing too much Fortnite and Apex Legends so I'm not really good at quick skyping again I need to go ahead and practice again but I used to be really good so let's go ahead and uh, this loadout should be good enough so as you guys can see overall gameplay looks really really amazing and um, I'd say it doesn't look too bad dude we've lost the lead Oh, give me 
drone away. Enemy into minecart. Changing max. Control. Reloading. Reloading. Enemy care package inbound. Stop. Enemies in the air. Changing Max. Target down! Enemy precision airstrike inbound. 30 seconds. Time's up. Setting a mine. Enemy at the shower. We are losing control. Alright guys, so that's it for the video. If you did enjoy the video, let me know down in the comment sections below as well as smash that like button. And Danny, hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, let me know down in the comment sections of this video again. And yeah man, if I'm not mistaken, you basically more or less have the same specs than I do. Uh, but you have 32 gigs of RAM, which means you should be getting a lot smoother gameplay than I do man so yeah go ahead and tweak the settings and let me know down in the comment section below if it helped you out at all but yeah guys don't forget to leave a like subscribe and stay frosty